friend, I'm Charlie, and this is Roger. We're imaginary friends of kids just like you. We keep you company in boring places like hospitals and protect you from scary things like the dark, <gasps> thunder, <gasps> zombie uprising, <laughs> you know, the usual suspects. Oh, and mannequins. Mannequins are terrifying. Sure. Anyway, we hear you're supposed to have an MRI soon. You probably have lots of questions like, what is an MRI? Why do I have to have one? And why aren't pizza bagels an acceptable breakfast item? They are. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, which is just a fancy way of saying picture taking. This space-age looking gizmo takes pictures inside your head. Your doctors need this to figure out what's going on with you. The machine will never touch you though, and it doesn't hurt one bit. Your favorite stuffed animal might even be able to tag along with you. The MRI makes lots of super loud noises, but don't sweat it. The noises just mean the cameras are working their magic. Oh yeah. Cameras inside this machine are very sensitive. If you move or wiggle around, pictures will come out blurry. We'll have to start all over. So it's important to stay super still. I know, boring. We can figure out ways to pass the time. We could pretend this machine is a spaceship. Blast off into outer space. Explore the galaxy for a bit. Take in a moon landing or two. Drop in on Mars. And befriend an alien species. While you're exploring the farthest steps of the universe, the MRI will be doing its thing for 20 to 30 minutes. Then, voila! Your doctor will use those pictures to figure out the best way to help you. There's nothing to be afraid of with MRIs. And remember, we at the Imaginary Friend Society always have your back.